Hi, my name's Dan Brett. I'm a CSO and founder of Countercraft. This is the Founder Chat. I'm here with David Barroso, and we're going to be talking about Lapsus and Okta. David, what's the bottom line here? Lapsus, I hear, is broken open. Um, Okta, they've done Samsung, Microsoft. It seems like an incredible, really big situation. What's the bottom line? What really happened? So yeah, I guess that everyone knows about Lapsus and all the arrests from teens in the UK and all the different tools they were using, tactics and techniques. So the bottom line is that as far as we know, uh, you don't need to have very advanced tools or the latest exploits for compromising a company. You, know? you just need to do something very basic, perhaps uh, steal some credentials, move laterally, steal information, exfiltrate the information, nothing more without using any advanced tools or exploits. So, I think that's the main bottom line, that uh, it's, 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 it's really difficult to find and detect that type of activity because uh, at the end of the day, it's normal activity that will, you will see uh, that's happening in your network. So hang on, the bottom line, bunch of teenagers, simple tools, not much experience, and they got in and cleaned up with everybody, right? Yeah. How can that happen it. with all what we know about cybersecurity? So I guess that... Why is it a problem to pick up the, basic tools? Yeah, but sometimes the, the easiest problems are more difficult than the most difficult ones. So like a, okay. For instance, of course they were breaking into companies. Uh, for instance, one example, are stealing credentials. No? And they connected using those credentials through VPNs or RDPs or whatever. So detecting those kind of authentications is difficult because how many authentications do you have in a normal organization every day? Thousands, right? Thousands. No? So okay. how can you tell which ones are good and which ones are bad? With some kind of complex technological control? Yeah, of course you can do lots of complex stuff like a geolocation right. or try to, I don't know, get a user profile because you know that a user, I don't know, connects all, all days at 9 a.m. and then if one day they con he connects to, I don't know, at 12 a.m. in the morning, so it could be an anomaly. So trying to find and spot anomalies, but it's difficult, it's not easy. Right. But on the other hand, you can use deception, for instance, that's another technique. So you can do, uh, you can drop some credentials um, like uh, usernames and passwords and that in theory no one will use them. Okay. So in any case that you detect someone using those credentials, I think it's a very high fidelity alert. Right, fantastic. So one way could be using technology, but there's, it's difficult to get high fidelity alerts using a technological approach. But if we take a deception approach to it, we might get some really good results with some basic kind of yeah basic approach to it so we're kind of turning on them they're using basic tools to attack companies and we're using a, a, a basic approach to counter that is that yeah, right because i guess that sometimes the, the the basic stuff is what really works you know like a, we don't need to get like a very complex solution for trying to detect those accesses not like or oh, imagine that once they are in uh they move laterally you no know? they're okay. trying to look for those um servers or endpoints where they want to steal information. So what if, I don't know, you deploy a number of endpoint servers with sexy, catchy names like a backup or, or whatever. And That's just, very catchy, very catchy. Yeah, and you just detect them, trying to access them. So it's again a very high fidelity alert. Instead of trying to look to, I don't know, millions of TCP uh, flows that are happening every day, difficult to know what's happening inside. So, so I don't want what happened to Okta to happen to me, what do I do? A quick takeaway. A quick takeaway. So I guess that I would invest on trying to add this other security layer of using more basic stuff, not trying to use very complex um, products or solutions to try to detect uh, suspicious activity mm -hmm. and try to go back to the basics. So trying to use something simple that you know that it will uh, to work and you'll get the, I don't know, the best return. Fantastic. High fidelity alerts, use and deception. Okay, thanks David. Thank you, Dan. Tune in at the same time next week, follow this channel and get back on the uh, chats with Countercraft founders. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.